Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install Fabric for Minecraft in 2024. Fabric is a mod loader that essentially makes it possible for all Minecraft players to download, install and run Fabric mods. Now, this tutorial is super simple. As long as you follow my exact steps, you're going to have no trouble. But if you do have any issues, leave a comment down below and myself or another viewer will help you out. So, if you want to head down to the first link in the description, give it a click and you'll find yourself on the official Fabric website. Now don't click download for Windows and instead click download universal jar. Head to the second link in the description and you'll find yourself on the Curse Forge website and that's because we're going to be downloading Fabric API. Fabric API is actually required for most Fabric type mods and a lot of them simply won't work without this so it's pretty essential. Head to file and download whichever version you'd like to play. I'm going to get the top one which is the most up-to-date version by clicking the three dots and hitting download. While Fabric API is downloading, consider dropping a like on the video and maybe a nice comment too. Alternatively, I'm going to pick out one or two mods here, which I will leave in the description, just to show you how mods actually work once we have Fabric installed. So once again, on the CurseForge website, following the exact same process of getting the Fabric API, I'm going to download Zero's Minimap, which is a cool mod, and Supplementaries, which is also a really good mod. Now it is always a good practice to ensure you have the exact same version for each one of the mods. So for example if I download a 1.20.1 Fabric API then the mods I'm downloading should all be versions 1.20.1 to help avoid running into any issues down the line. So once everything's downloaded here open up your files and find your downloads folder. Drag and drop the Fabric Launcher, the Fabric API and the two example mods we're downloading all to your desktop. Let's start off by right clicking the first fabric launcher. Click open and select Java. Now if you don't have Java as an option to open with this may be because you have never downloaded Java on your computer and Java 17 is essential for running any sort of Minecraft mods. I've already created a full, very easy tutorial on how to download and install the latest Java. You can find the link to that on screen and in the description, along with a jar fix in that video to ensure I can get this to work for you as quick as possible. Once you have Java and you've opened Fabric with Java, you'll see the mod system installer, which looks like this. So here, once again, we need to make sure everything is compatible. So if the API and the mods are all 1.20, 1.20.1, select 1.20.1. But obviously, if you've got any newer versions, then select a newer version. Ensure create profiles is ticked and hit install. I must stress that if for some reason the download fails, it's probably because you have either Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher currently open. So ensure you've got both of them minimized. If they are minimized and it's still not working, it may be because you haven't played this current version of Minecraft yet. So you need to open up your launcher and load up 1.20.1, for example, to the point that it's on the title screen, close it down and then retry the launcher. If everything is good, you'll see it's successfully installed and we can now delete the launcher from our desktop. Next we want to install our mods, so open the Minecraft launcher and you should now see Fabric in the bottom left as an option when launching Minecraft. If you can see this, that's great. If you don't however, click installations, ensure modded is ticked, click new installations, hit the versions drop down menu and find Fabric in this list list. On the installations page, look for the folder looking icon next to Fabric and give it a click. This is your official Minecraft folder and you should see a folder called Mods. If you don't however, that's completely fine. Just right click, create new folder and rename it to Mods, but ensure it is spelt and looks exactly the same as how I've done it. So M-O-D-S all lowercase. Open up that folder and now drag our API along with our two mods into this folder. Close the folder down and hit play. Once Minecraft is launched, you should see Fabric in the bottom left, which reassures us that everything's going well and working so far. When using mods, it can be a good idea to back up a world before using it as playing mods on an already pre-made vanilla world can get a bit pear-shaped sometimes. So I'm just going to simply create a new world. As you can see, the minimap mod is working correctly, and within the creator menu our supplementaries mod is also working correctly. Please leave a like if this video helped you out and have a lovely day. Goodbye.